Hello, chess lovers. Here is my Raspberry Pi computer again, with the Pi face control and display interface mounted on top of it, but this time with a nice little black box that goes together like this and makes the machine immediately much more professional looking, wouldn't you say? Okay, again we will load Pico Chess software into the machine like so and connect it to power via an ordinary micro USB adapter. So the machine is booting up. And please note that there is only one cable connecting the machine this time, because today we are not using the electronic DGT chessboard, but rather this little magnetic chessboard that I use while on the road. Today we will try to play a game against the machine using only these buttons as an alternative input of moves. So the machine has booted up Pico Chess version 0 0.2. Two, one. But first, let's go through the menus that are accessible through this little sexy rocker switch that reminds me a lot of my ex-wife. She always wanted me to push her button. So, let's go through the menus. This is the system menu, engine menu play menu, setup position menu, database menu, and the alternate input menu that we are mostly interested in. But first, let's go back to the engine menu and set up a level of play first. This is done via buttons, like so. Okay, level 1, level 2, level 3. Okay, let's have level 5. The second button is for setting the book, Grandmaster book, varied book, this one is okay, but there are of course others, performance, stockfish, no book at all, fun book, Anand, Korchnoi, Larsen, Pro, GM, and again, varied. Okay, the third button is for time controls. Let's say, game in three minutes. No, game in five. Okay? And now we can start with the play. Go to the alternate input menu, push the first button, and see the first button turns around the first letter of the move. D, E, okay, E, the second button now turns around the number. E2, this is our first move, now the third button, E, and my first move will be E2, E4, okay? I confirm it with pressing the last button here, and the computer responds with Knight C6, okay, like so, I believe. Let's play another move. Okay. Let's say I want to play D2. D4. Okay, I validate. And the computer responds with E5. And so on and so on. Obviously, this was still a book move. I forgot to move my pound. 